something good to set up to do for maybe a pre-workout or a pre-practice or something like that. So go ahead. Can I inject one thing? Yeah. Both of these guys are really good. But just doing this, and I'm going to put you on the spot, this guy can do it without holding on to anything, which really helps train balance. So I'll put you under the spotlight. Here. Now you're following the state. Come on, man. So this is real simple. Isolation, that little bit of weight in the movement lights up your hamstring. It lights up your lights up your quad like you would not believe. It's unbelievable. So we do it on both legs, and it's quick. It takes about 10 seconds to change from one foot to the other. Maybe 15. And we played with a couple things. We, I, in fact, I, I should have brought them over. We have the ankle shackles. I was thinking that if they could hold their leg up higher, and we'd get more action in the in the flexor. All right, but it became very hard. Now, if you had to balance it, which I don't think would would hurt the result, that would be fine. We had them up real high, and they had them up real low. But the idea was was to move the move the flex stick as fast as you could to get to get some kind of reaction with, with some fast twitch. Now again, does it affect it? I think it does, but we don't know for how long. Is it for 10 seconds or as soon as you stop doing it, do you lose all the properties of fast twitch? But I know, uh, all I know is that we've done it with the, this team for a, a set block of time and to get the improvement that they've done. Now, of course, they got stronger and, you know, flexibility and blah, blah, blah. But I think there's some, va I, I really think there's some value to, to the oscillation. Because we know it, you know, it increases force production with the tsunami bar. So there would be no reason, you know, I'm not a scientist, but there, to me, it leads to believe that there would be some real value to, to adapting that property. So, so yes, you know, I mean, we have an expert right here, so. So that, that's some of the oscillation we did. And like I say, we did it before every workout. We did it before, we use it as a warm up before they ran on speed days. Cause these guys, for the most part, we lifted uh, twice a week. And then one day was pure speed, weather permitting through the fall semester. So we used it every time, basically every time they were gonna work out. In the weight room, we did a three, we did a little three, three station circuit what eight guys would be on the speed sticks and they would do left leg right leg left leg right leg the other four would be we'll show you the drills they did on a box we, so we had speed sticks in their hand and then we had the uh, a glued ham roller so we already warming up their hamstrings so we did a little three four sets three station speed set which took no time at all then they did their weight work for the day so Upper body stuff. Like we did a couple of variations of step ups for that that arm stage. You want to do speed step first, face this way, put your left foot up. Speed steps. So we did some again. It's it's a really good technique work. You know, again, teaches posture, drive. So we call this one a speed step. All they were doing is driving that knee up as fast as they could with a real quick arm split. Do a couple. So they might do six on each leg. Or another one we did is, uh, just go ahead and just run your foot up. Or we just, we call it a baseball, so you're stealing first base. We just have them run in place real quick. And they do six, 12 repetitions at the most. So while eight guys were doing the uh, flex sticks, we had these guys on speed sticks, and then the rest of the team was doing something for their hamstring. We have, we have the uh, Sornex rolling glued ham, or we have uh, the West Side inverse curl. So we did that little, that little speed circuit before every workout, before every workout. Uh, some of the other stuff we did is we always concentrated on starts. I'm big on, I'm huge on three-step starts. So I'm big on, I like off-balance stuff because that's that sports. You're you're never in a perfect position. So. I like off balance and I like short. So we did like a lot of off balance, three step starts. So we get them in a good running position. Again, we watch the arm action with the sticks. It, it helps them, keeps their hands up. It really, it really works the arm swing. It eliminates all this kind of stuff. Choo choo, anything. High, they're not high, they're not across <coughs> their body. 
They're just really rotating their shoulders. So kneeling starts real easy, ready, go. Three steps, that's the most important aspect of sport, three steps. Then we made it a little more complex. We add a split to it, let's go one split. Okay, so I can just split in the start. So that really, this, I cue this with the whistle, so it's a two whistle drill. So that it's a kneeling start, let's go one split, go, and go. So we add a split to a split. All right, again, keeps the hips down, running posture, nice long, great, great power through the hips and acceleration all in one drill. All right, let's go two splits. Uh, I'll go pretty fast this time. The whistles are real fast. They're between tweet, tweet you know, as soon as I see them. So let's go. Two splits and we'll start. So three goes. Ready? Go. 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 Keep some down, low, athletic position. Again, look at the arm swing. It's, it's a great arm swing. And then to add a little complexity to it, let's do a draw start. So ready? Go. 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 Body control, balance, coordination, and great, great explosion. Now we rotate the split, we rotate the drop, we do a split, and then we start. So drop the lift? Drop the lift, yeah. So start in a good stance, now we're going to rotate them so they're facing this way, then they're going to split, and then they'll accelerate. Ready? Go. 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 Incorporate that, we talked about. So we do the, we come out of a warm up, in our warm up, we incorporate some bounding moves, and then we go right to the start series, just like this. So we, we incorporated the sticks real, it was self coaching on speed days, we did like a lot of fly, I like fly throughs, they would jog, and then sprint. And you could really see the improvement in, in just the, the shoulder rotation, stride length, posture, kept them upright, you know, then we got them to get their head neutral. So. I think there was some real value to it. Uh, Gordon's got some videos of some of the other drills.